Hi guys, well uh, um, I'm finally doing a video on Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, if you saw my previous video you know that certain situations that happened this year mean that I, meant that I haven't been able to um, review certain blockbuster movies. I was hoping to do Transformers 4 um, and I didn't get a chance to see that film and I think enough time has passed with me not seeing Transformers 4 I think I'm just going to let it let it lie, leave it alone and uh, for those people that loved that film and enjoyed that film um, great I, I'm, I'm, pl I'm happy for you and uh, I'm just gonna you know let bygones be bygones with Transformers and uh, assume that I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it but uh, hey you never know but uh, anyway Guardians of the Galaxy is something I've been looking forward to for a very long time I've pretty much enjoyed all the Marvel movies I'd say some have been disappointing but more I've enjoyed more of them than I've not enjoyed Marvel movies. Uh, I'd say probably the ones that have been disappointed for, for me would would most likely be um, Iron Man three. Uh, that was probably the most disappointing film. But um, with this one, I uh, heard a lot of people saying how fantastic it was. I was in Russia at the time, so I didn't get a chance to uh, see it. Could have seen it in Russia, uh, but my Russian is not great. I think I can uh, say about. 10 Russian words, maybe 20, uh, so that really wouldn't get me by in, in seeing the film in, in uh, a foreign language. But um, when I got back, I uh, was you know, hearing how, how much people loved the film, so I was saying, yes, I'm definitely going to go and see this. Um, had to leave it a week or so, finally got to see it, and uh, I have to say it's absolutely a blast of a movie. Now, I'm going to talk about this film. Uh, I think there's been enough time gone past that I can uh, use spoilers now. I hope people don't mind about that but um, I, I think what is fantastic about this film is and, and it's been said a lot already is that this is probably this generation's um, closest thing to a, a Star Wars film and I think what, what uh, Guardians of the Galaxy has got right is it's taken all these uh, wonderful things from pop culture um, and put, made them into a perfect mix. I've, I've never actually seen or read a Guardians of the Galaxy uh, comic or I think the only time I ever saw a Guardians of the Galaxy before this film was an episode of uh, Avengers, Earth's Mightiest uh, Heroes or whatever it was called. Um, so when they, they announced this movie I thought okay you know what I'm gonna go into this film I'm not gonna really um, find out too much I'm just gonna go in with no expectations and see what happens. And I think that's what's wonderful about this film is, uh, you know, most people really didn't know who the Guardians of the Galaxy were and, and didn't know much about them, but they went in there and uh, were really pleasantly surprised and got to see these fresh new characters that we really didn't know uh, that much history on. Um, I think the story in, in the film allowed us to get to know them really, really well. They, they were really well fleshed out in this movie. Uh, very interesting, all had their sort of different personalities. Um, what's great about Star-Lord uh, is that Peter Quill, uh, he's, he's definitely a modern day Han Zolo mixed in with a bit of Robin Hood and uh, the whole uh, story really, the whole fable about Guardians of the Galaxy is, is there's kind of a, a Robin Hood feel to the film. Basically you get the hero, Robin Hood, or Star-Lord in this case, and he's on a quest uh, to uh, obtain something and on his journey he meets a band of different characters, his band of merry men he has a slight clash with them and then they eventually join up with him and uh, fulfill his quest and, and that's basically the outline of Robin Hood, I mean he, he meets Little John, has a battle with Little John then they end up being friends and uh, a part of the of the same gang so Similar thing happened with Star Lord. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the parts where he was clashing with Groot and Rocket, and um, you had uh, Drax and um, I'm, I'm, I can't remember the other character's name. Uh, but yeah, you uh, had all the characters uh, clashing with each other, and um, it was a funny film as well. I mean, very uh, uh, good humour. The, the soundtrack in it is absolutely wonderful definitely moves the film along. I read uh, comments saying that oh, the film wouldn't be so good if the, if the music wasn't so good but that, that really applies to all films doesn't it? I mean you've got Star Wars, I mean just imagine if Star Wars had an electro 70s pop 
theme to it. It probably would really look and sound a lot more dated to us if we were watching that with a, a really dated soundtrack. And I think they've got some classics in this film that have stood the test of time and they've put them in there. And it definitely makes the, the film flow nicely. And I think is, yeah, the music does make the film better. But that's the whole point. Music does normally make a film better. If the soundtrack's no good, it's most likely going to distract from the movie or ruin the movie. So um, that's my thoughts on that. The Probably the weakest part of the film was the villain. And that's something that uh, Marvel have struggled, struggled with. They've got one fantastic villain, and that's definitely Loki. But there's never really been any other villain in, in the films that has sort of uh, stood out and uh, definitely come to the forefront of the film and, and you think, wow, that is a, an amazing villain. I would love to own, you know, I'd love to own a, a figure of that, of that villain or I'd love to have a poster of that villain on my wall, you know, for instance, like Darth Vader or something like that. With this one, uh, Ronan the Accuser, I think he was called, or Rohan the Accuser, um, this shows how much I know about, <laughs> about Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, he was okay, but it was, it was a pretty generic uh, character. The more interesting character, Thanos, um, more in the in the background again, a bit like uh, the Emperor. Really, you don't you don't really get to know. I don't think they I think they're leaving him to for the big finale. They're sort of leaving him in the background. Basically, talked about a little bit. You see uh, a brief glimpse of him in Avengers. A little bit more of him in this film. And uh, I think they're saving him the, till last, you know, really like building him up as this uh, uh, a bit of an enigma character. And it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens uh, when they finally clash. I've got my fingers crossed that Ultron is going to be a good villain. Uh, definitely uh, looking forward to that. Anyway, so uh, I, I think uh, the comedy worked really well in this. It wasn't distracting. It wasn't uh, taken away from the film. The action is great. Uh, the different characters were, were fantastic. My favourite, I think, of the... A lot of people saying, oh, I love Rocket and I love Groot. I thought they were great. Uh, but definitely for me, uh, Dave Bautista, who played uh, Drax, um, was one of my favourites. I loved the fact that he couldn't get uh, metaphors. and He, he took things, uh, everything that was said, literally. The joke about the finger uh, running across the throat, fantastic. And uh, also catching something above his head were very funny uh, jokes. And... They're definitely one of my favourite characters. So, is Guardians of the Galaxy one of the best Marvel films ever? It's definitely up there with one of the best Marvel films ever. I would put it up there with uh, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, The Avengers, and uh, Iron Man, the first Iron Man. They're probably, that, listing those ones, they're probably my top um, Marvel films uh, made by Marvel Studios at the moment. Uh, as for the best film this year, uh, I would definitely say in my top five of uh, best films of this year, uh, along with Winter Soldier, Planet of the Apes, and um, X-Men. Uh, my, my top ten list, top five list, is definitely uh, getting quite full of superhero films, I have to say, but um, I've been limited to what I could see. I was hoping to see Boyhood uh, this year, but I haven't had a chance to see that, and I've missed a lot of um, sort of more highbrow movies like uh, Under the Skin and, and stuff like that. So I, I do need to do a lot of catch up on the uh, movies this year. But anyway, Guardians of the Galaxy, five stars out of five. Absolutely loved it. And uh, oh, by the way, I saw Hercules. Um, okay, okay, film two two and a half, three stars. Yeah, that um, it was it was it was good in places, but uh, it, you know it, it was forgettable as soon as I, I I left the cinema. But Guardians of the Galaxy. Five stars out of five, and I'll catch you later.